I really wanted to swim in college. I for sure was gonna go to college no matter what, but I wanted to be a part of a collegiate team. And in order to do that, to remain eligible, I was not allowed to accept any kind of money and any kind of endorsements, sponsors, anything like that. So after London, um, essentially turned everything down and it was really challenging. We had a lot of conversations about it as a family, but again, my parents enabled and told me everything I needed to know were honest about their opinions and let me make my own decision, which was I want to stay amateur and I want to be able to swim in college. So I decided to go to the University of California, Berkeley and swim two years collegiately there and then turn professional before Rio. I'd make the same decision 100 times over again. I'm so happy I did it. Um, I always say I knew the girls on my college team were going to be like the bridesmaids at my wedding. And <laughs> I just don't think you can put a price on that. And you can't. And I was shown that. And so I went to, um, I had my senior year of high school left. I went to world championships that next year, won six golds there. So I was really excited about that. Uh, came off, went to college, um, and then that first year, I suffered my first injury right before our major competition. So that was a process of then coming back from that. And then the next year, decided to uh, move back home and train with Todd again, leading up to world championships in 2015 and the summer of 2016. So that was the hardest decision I've ever had to make because I left everything at school. I left my apartment, my best friend, my teammates, everything out there, but I felt like it was going to be the best position for me moving forward with so many changes going on in my life. And, you know, the, that world in Rio this, this summer was obviously pretty disappointing for me, and it's so hard to put so much of your effort into something and so much of your heart and make so many sacrifices for it and fall so far short of where you think you're capable of. But it also really gave me the opportunity to be the person I've always said that I want to be in those difficult situations. So for that, I'm really grateful. 